Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I don't know what it is, but I love seeing like what's in people's bags. I don't know, it's just like the nosy neighbor in me. You know, like that neighbor that goes and like stands outside and just is like lurking on everybody, knows everybody's business, but isn't involved. I don't wanna be involved. I just wanna know about it. So that's kinda how these videos feel for me. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys everything that is in my new flight attendant bag, which I actually shared this bag with you guys in um, one of my recent videos. So the one where I went to London and I got paid to sit in first class. I got paid to fly from London to Dallas in first class. It was absolutely wild. If you have not seen it, go check it out after this one. But in that video, I shared this bag with you guys. It was like part of my luggage set and so many of you guys were like, what what is that bag? Did you get a new flight bag? Where is your bag from? All that stuff. So we're gonna be going through what is the bag and all the contents in the bag and yes. So just straight away, this bag is from Minky Blue. This is the Amber backpack and it is amazing. It's what I've been using lately. It's so good. So if you're somebody who likes to travel with a backpack, you are in for a real treat. This bag has so many different like bells and whistles and really cool features designed on the bag. Now I do wanna say this is not a sponsored video at all. I was gifted the bags just for my own personal use and I love her bags. I love them so much. They're designed so well. So immediately, as soon as I got them, I was like, oh, this is gonna be my new flight bag. I'm only gonna show you the bag and the bag can sell itself. I don't need to do nothing because the bag is gorgeous. So here is the bag. I just wanna share the outside really, really quickly before we jump in, but it does have the handle on the back. Now this is mine, which I'll be showing you in a minute. It has the front zipper and then on the back, it also has adjustable straps and it also has a trolley sleeve as well. Now, if you have like an all wheel suitcase where you can just roll it, this is so convenient just to slip it on and leave it as is. Because mine is like one of those two wheel where you have to lean it, I like to just like tighten these as much as possible and then just kind of tuck them in so that way it doesn't drag whenever I'm using the bag itself. So another feature I wanna share with you guys is also this pocket right here, which is so cool. So you can open it and you can keep just like a couple things if you got something small in there. But actually what this does is it flips out and you can just stick this part out and then you have like a built-in cup holder. And then if you don't want that out, you can just tuck it back in and then zip it back up and you're all good to go. So to kick us off, obviously let's start here. So this is my glasses holder. I just have like a pair of eyeglasses in here. That way when I want to read a book, they're like easily available. I can just grab them. I shared this in this Amazon video. If you haven't checked it out, there's so many goodies in there. So be sure to check it out. Now in the front pocket, the first thing I have is a pen. Every flight attendant knows you have to have a pen. It's a required item, but also you actually really want to have a few of them, especially when you're taking like meal orders or things like that. And if you're working in any of the international destinations, it's always great to have a Sharpie as well. It's just great when you need to write on like the foil for meals and stuff like that. And then next I have my Marks and Spencer's sugar-free breath mints. I love these so much. Nobody likes hot breath. And then I also have these ones. So these are the rhubarb and custard drops as well. These are so great when I just need like a little sweet something. Oh, and there we go, the Sharpies. I was telling you guys, if you're working at internationals, you need some Sharpies. So I have just like the thin one and then a thick boy as well and that is it so that's everything I have at the front now I just moved the straps out of the way so you can see better so it has the compartment which if y'all are familiar at all with minky blue in their bags something wonderful they do is they design like this thing inside where the whole bag can be put together or you can separate it and have a built-in compartment and the way she's designed the bags recently is these bags can stand up by themselves without stuff at the bottom which is really nice so I actually have a lot of stuff in here at the bottom but quickly before I share that with you I do also want to show you this so this is like a cooler bag that she includes that fits down at the bottom so you can use that as a cooler option as well and then inside of the cooler which is really really nice I love the shape of this and the material feels so nice it feels like I don't know if y'all can see it. there's like a light sheen on it it's just really really pretty but inside the bag there's also a shoe bag so if you're like a flight attendant and you wanna keep like your in-flight shoes or your um, heels in here and like switch them out. So this pocket is like super versatile, everything you can do with it, which is something I love about these bags, whether you're a flight attendant or like a mom on the go. It's just super convenient, so I will share with you how I keep it. So straight away at the top, I go ahead and keep my flight attendant tablet 
in there. It's just really easy access for me whenever I need it for work. So I like to keep it straight at the top of my stuff. And then I have this little bag right here. And in this one, I just have um, two different travel adapters. So I've been doing like London and like some internationals. I did Madrid, did Dublin, a lot of those. So I like to keep these in here. Plus if you're on reserve, you don't know if you're gonna go somewhere like that. I always recommend having two. And then in the back, I have my little travel umbrella that I share with you guys also in that Amazon video which is convenient because then it just stays in here. I always have it. I don't have to worry about it. It's super nice. And then next I have this little bag that I keep in there. Now this does come with the Miki blue bag. You can see it has the same hardware, that same kind of like material that you see on a lot of the detailing of the bag. Now this thing is so cool because you can actually like take the two ends and clip them together and it becomes like a purse on your layover, which is really, really cute and trendy just if you need something small. But also they attach to the front so you can have like a backpack necklace. So if you have like stuff like maybe your wallet, your ID or things like that that you wanna keep at the front. I mean, y'all saw it in Madrid. I almost got pickpocketed. So especially when you have instances like that and you have important stuff that you wanna keep in front of you, that is a great feature as well. And then over here, I have this little mesh bag, which I did tell you guys, I like to keep these mesh bags because I can see through them. So I I showed these in this other Amazon video that I went and got a bunch of them. I have one mask. Now this is for a fume event. I've never personally been in a fume event. I've been in a plane after it's had a fume event, but you just never know. So I like to keep one just in case. I also have some gloves in here as well as a flashlight, which is a required item. And then on the other side, I have my CPR mask. And then of course I've got my tried and true at the bottom. So this is my tech case. Y'all can see it's just been through a lot with me. It's, it's, a lot of like wear and tear but it's so useful so this is like my tech organizer i keep all of my camera batteries up here have a little converter i usually have my little card converter that takes my my camera and my sd cards into my laptop i keep all of my sd cards in here and then I keep all of my chargers in here, so my camera battery chargers. I usually have an SSD card in here, my um, tablet charger, my watch charger, normally my phone chargers in here. And so, yeah, this is just great for organizing all of my tech stuff. The bag does stand up on its own without anything being down there, which is also really, really great. Now for the inside of the bag, so this is all my goodies. Straight away, I have this new Harrods bag that I am obsessed with. I've had my eye on it for so long. So in this bag, I keep some deodorant. So I just have like my native sensitive skin deodorant. I also keep this contact case, which I share with you guys in the Amazon video. And inside I actually keep this stuff, which is like the best kept secret for not having body odor ever again. Now it doesn't prevent sweating, but this, if you wanna get rid of body odor, this is what you need to invest with. And whenever I'm going on a trip, I just put a little bit in here, which is great. So I have a little bit of it in each one. And then the contact case also has like a small mirror. And then if you're gonna use it for contacts, it's right here. And then it has a spoon in there as well, which anything I'm showing you, I will link in the description box also so you can check it out. And then I keep my little wellies in here. So this has like bandages and ointments and stuff. I love getting these because if somebody just needs like a quick small band-aid and you don't need to get into the first aid kit. And then I also keep my hand sanitizer. So this is one of those Touchland hand sanitizers. And this is also a hydrating hand sanitizer and it smells so good. So as a flight attendant, hand sanitizer is a must, 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 must. And then even further down, I have a hair clip in here. You guys know my black one, it broke whenever I was going through security last time, but I love to keep a hair clip in here, especially when I'm doing service to throw my hair back. And then I also have this beautiful thing. I love this so much. This is my little traveling perfume bottle. And it just looks like this and I just poured perfume in here. Somebody asked me how I did it and no joke, I just opened my perfume bottle and literally poured it in. I know they make like mini funnels if you need one, but this did not leak at all and I just screwed on tight. Now when you're going through security, keeping the whole thing together can be a little bit bulky to put in your liquids bag. So I just take this part out and put it in the bag and then once I'm through security, I just put it back in here. But this thing is so pretty. And then also down here, I have a little bit of lip gloss 
gloss. So this is in my shade pajamas. Love it. Um, I wore this on my last trip. And then also I have, <laughs> I have a little hand lotion. Now this is the one that's on the airplanes and it smells so good. I went to the website to try to buy it. And for some reason they didn't have the hand lotion in the scent. So I just like have this little one that I've been holding on to since I was in first class and it's amazing. So this is just like my little freshen up kit. I really want to find a like travel toothbrush, but I just haven't found one yet that I love. But the next thing I have is my wallet with my passport and all my good stuff in there. I also keep this one, which I share with you as well, because this is so convenient. If I have like cards and stuff and I wanna take them with me whenever I'm exploring a city, I just put them in here instead of having to carry around that big old wallet. And then I also keep my little pill compartment down here, which I love this so much. So as many of you know, I have rheumatoid arthritis. So I have to take folic acid every single day because my body doesn't produce it anymore now that I'm on methotrexate. And then I also keep ibuprofen in here. Now this particular one did not come with words, but y'all, I just, I have to have words. So my mom is like the cricket queen. And I was like, Miss Leslie, can you please give me some, some uh, days of the week on here? And then also this is my, ibuprofen I think she messed up it's not acetaminophen but it's fine it's fine she said she'll fix it for me so Thursday is like my big day that's my money day where I got to take everything and then these are just like my folic acid days and so whenever I'm doing international travel because you really work a three day but you stay up for over or I do I stay up for over 24 hours to explore the city so it really starts blurring my days together so this is like a must for me I had to get something like this and this one's super super cute and convenient but again it doesn't come with with words if you want words you got to make them yourself it does come with like these little white square labels you can write on so you can use those or you don't have to use anything and then also to keep up with the fun I have asthma so I like to keep my inhaler right here it makes it easy access in case I ever need it to grab it now another amazing thing I love about this bag is it has a key attachment so whenever I'm like going to my car I don't have to be searching for my keys or doing anything or when I need my keys I know where they are I just pull this they're right here which is great if you don't like this you can unattach it I know Allie doesn't like these but I love it so I just keep like my whole key ring attached to that and then down below I have one of these little deodorizers so this is the peach scent that I share with you guys it's so nice my bag smells so fresh and good and then also I keep this other little mesh one down below. So this is my eye walk, which I share with you guys. That is so great when I'm exploring a city. So I don't have a huge like power bank. I just love to have that with me. And then I also have two different pairs of headphones in here. Oh, actually right now I just have one. The other one I've been using to edit a video. So I have, I normally have two, one that has like the phone port and then one that has like the normal port as well. And then in this pocket, I just keep my feminine products. So they're nicely tucked away. And then also, as you can see here, this is like the zipper that goes down to the bottom of the bag so it has like little velcro straps so if you want the bag just to be one big bag you can completely open this up and pull the straps to the side otherwise I like it I like having two different compartments it makes it easier to get to everything so I'm like not digging and then also over here is the laptop case and it does have a little pencil pen compartment as well but I just don't want to scratch up my laptop so I keep my laptop in there also and it has like two little straps in case you have like a specific size. Okay, and then I'm gonna open this one with you guys as well. So this one is going to be the Nyla Tote, which is very, very similar to the Ella Tote, which is like the bag that I have just loved. I've been using it for years. It's a wonderful bag. So this is the Nyla Tote and straight away, I love the shape of the bag. I love all of the, the detailing and like this padded feature. It's something I love about the Ella Tote. I think it just looks so luxurious and so nice. Also, I haven't used the bag as you can tell. So all the hardware is still wrapped up the straps are still wrapped but they do look like this and the hardware is like that circle so it's very very similar to the amber backpack in the hardware so it has like two pockets straight away on the front and then you turn it and on both sides it has a pocket so you can keep like a water bottle or maybe like your flight attendant tablet or whatever you need on both sides it has it and then in the back, it has a small pocket up here, which is great if you wanna put like your plane ticket or like you just have like easy things like mints or something small to keep in there. And then again, it has like this same back feature which really separates the bag and a trolley sleeve as well. And then on the inside of the bag, it also has like the same laptop case with a little thing to clip it in and keep it in. So it's nice and protected in there. It does also have like the little 
pin things as well. And then this is really hard to do one handed. And then on the inside, it has a pocket here. It has a pocket here. It has that front space as well as the bag again, which is super nice. And then also on the other side, it does have a zipper. Okay, and that is everything. So if there's anything of mine that you liked or wanna check out, I will try to link as much of it down below as possible. I will also be linking the Nyla Tote as well as the Amber backpack down below. So if you guys want to support a small business, it will be down there. But if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up, press the subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.